Hello, Roger here, and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about tinnitus and how it can be significantly quietened and in many cases resolved. Anyone suffering with ringing in the ears, humming or swooshing noises won't need me to tell you all about tinnitus. Perhaps you've looked for all the help you can get, but nothing seems to be satisfactory or lasts for any significant period of time. Now I'm not here to tell you that tinnitus can be instantly erased because we do have to be prepared to give ourselves time. Time for the brain to learn and make the changes we're looking for. But I will give you a brief outline of how I personally, from my experience with pulsatile tinnitus and from clients' experience, how we can find silence when there seem to be no chance of that silence ever returning. So a few pointers you can take with you and a guide to some of the ways it can be worked with successfully. Understandably, the most pressing feeling we have with tinnitus is we just want it to stop and to stop now. But patience is the first key word. As I mentioned to all my clients with whatever it is we're working on, we are all understandably looking for instant results. But this is a trap, a trap that takes us further away from the results we're looking for. We must, in effect, give ourselves all the time in the world. Then it's much more likely results are going to arrive much quicker. Wanting the issue gone will only re-engage our stress fight and flight response. And this drives the body and mind deeper into an alert for danger state which in fact is what the noise is all about. Whatever initially triggered the problem has left our nervous system hyper aware. Diminishing stress is a major part of the retraining of our system. And it's not just the ear and the noise. It's our whole body and mind that we need to work with. The noise is only likely to significantly change and diminish when the body and mind are literally at peace with each other. Using hypnosis is a key factor in my work, learning to engage different trances and disengage from the stressful ones will really help the healing begin, taking the focus away from the internal noise and beginning the process of rewiring the brain to a state of safety. Once you've noticed that it's possible for there to be relaxing and subtle quietening of this noise, however small, then the door is opening, allowing more internal change to take place. This work is based on neuroplasticity, rewiring the brain connections, and it's crucially important that we make ourselves aware of each positive change. It can take time, I know, but give yourself time and try to avoid getting mad about it. For instance, if we can't sleep, tossing and turning and kicking the covers off the bed never helped anyone get back to sleep. We need more calm and peace to discover physically and emotionally how to get back in touch with our quietness. For instance, become aware of your left hand. Notice how your fingers feel, the material your hand may be resting on. Is the palm of your hand cupped or flat? Notice which side of your body you may be leaning on with your weight. And just for a second or two, any subtle silence as your attention is diverted. You've made a change in your awareness which can for a moment distract your mind from the noise. You've already experienced a small step forward and the aim is to begin to join these steps together. Getting back in touch with body and mind is a powerful way to get ourselves out of the busy part of the brain and into a more restful and relaxed state. Yoga, somatic bodywork, Alexander or Feldenkrais bodywork, there are other important and effective ways to continue the progress. Another valuable tool you can use and one that I use regularly in my therapy practice is EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, where we tap on acupressure points. And like acupuncture, this really helps 
clear blocked energies and thoughts. I will be making a video on EFT for tinnitus very soon so don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to watch it and you'll be able to tap along with that video in the future. So there are some important changes you could make on your own and if you'd like any further information about the work I do please feel free to get in touch with me. I offer international online sessions or one-to-one -one sessions in Glasgow, UK. The details are at the end of the video and thanks for watching.